Corrine, and welcome to another exciting episode of A New You. A woman always feels beautiful when her hair is on point, and today we will be visiting Cabello Hair, where the incredibly talented Marco will be looking after Lianca's hair needs. Cabello Hair is a delightful organic unisex salon, which is situated at Sugar Rush Park. Welcome, Marco. Thank you, Corinne. Thank you for joining us and for being part of Ilianka's journey. It's exciting to be here. Oh, well, I've been to your salon, and as, as I said, it's just so beautiful. You just, you actually don't want to leave. It is so relaxing and, and a, a calming space, you know, which is nice for when you go it's there to It's a cozy relax. little spot, eh? Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> beautiful. So tell us a little bit about Cabello Hair. Okay, so Cabello Hair Design was established in 2020, November, middle of lockdown. And, um, you know... Like you said it earlier, people feel better when they look great, right? And with lockdown coming along, a lot of businesses have taken a lot of punishments. So I thought, let me open up a place that I can still make it affordable for clients, yet they still get that top shelf quality. So people can come more often and, you know, when you get your hair done, you genuinely feel better. So what better to fight a pandemic than feeling confident, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And you were very brave to start it at that time. <laughs> wow. Well, well done. It was a little scary. Um, Given the location as well, I wasn't certain because I was more familiarized with Salt Rock. But I've been welcomed into Belita area and I've infiltrated the groups and I've really built up a good name for myself. So I'm truly humbled by that. But your work is superb. I mean, I've seen a lot of your work. I'm still yet to come and have yes. my hair and be graced <laughs> by your hands on my head. So I'm Cannot so looking wait. forward to that. Cannot wait. Now, you do a lot of organic products as well as, as um, other products. How does it differ? So basically, I like to keep it natural, like especially mm. when it comes to your shampooing and stuff, I like to keep it sulfate free, the more organic, the better. And I like to focus a lot on the hair's integrity. So the quality of the hair is the most important for me. Of course, color is second priority. And we love to get the color that we want. But it's pointless getting that perfect blonde if your hair feels a little bit too much like cotton wool. Yeah. So I like keeping it nice, shiny, luxurious and just mm. silky, you know. And, it's, and I suppose it is important then to treat your hair often and to have regular hair trims and cuts. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, at the end of the day, a lot of people get tired of their hair and they end up taking drastic measures like cutting a lot of length off just because it hasn't been maintained correctly. And especially once you've had color, it is important to just go and look after the cuticles. You know, the surface coating of the hair is very important because that's where it gets tangly, unruly, and mm. the color just doesn't take properly because yes. the hair is too porous. Yeah, exactly. So that's important. And Lianka, what do you feel about your hair at the moment? Um, I'm, I'm just um, listening to what he said and it's so relevant because um, last year in lockdown, I actually thought it was a perfect opportunity to shave my damaged hair off. So I had a short pixie cut and I shaved the one side of my hair because it was so damaged, because I was trying to do, and I think we, we chatted about some weird colors that I'd done, like pinks and purples and trying to get that steely gray look and it really does damage your hair. So um, yeah, so my hair is a bit dry, it's a bit damaged, so I'd, I'd love to be in his professional hands. Right. <laughs> and what is our plan for today? So basically what I'm going to be doing, I want to take Lianca and I want to give her something that really pops her personality out, right? Something that's, the, so the hairstyle that she currently has is very conservative and it's just, it's keeping such a shining star indoors, you know? You want to bring it out to the light. So basically what I do, I want to do a caramel balayage with a nice big money piece right in front, just lightening up the areas surrounding her face so it can frame and really take her out and just really expose the beauty that she has bring out your confidence. Wonderful. And you're going to do a lot of treatments on her hair as well? I am going to be doing quite a few Plex treatments. Um, what is a Plex just, treatment? So basically a Plex treatment, it's, Plex is a two-stage process, right? The first process is a liquid molecule that is finer than water and actually penetrates the hair surface, goes into your cortex and your medulla and holds all the hair fibers together. That allows your hair to extract the color pigments gently without causing too much damage because the center, the very core of your hair shaft, that's what we need to keep really healthy. Cuticles can be replenished, can be repaired, but once your cortex or your medulla is gone, that's it. That's the end of your hair. So the Plex treatment plays a big role in that. The second stage happens at the basin where we add a very keratin concentrated mask. I'd like to use ceramide and contemporary. I'd like to mix them both. It's my own little concoction. And I find that really just holds together everything nicely. It just brings out a lot of shine and it really treats, replenishes everything that's been taken out. 
Yes. Oh, well, that's so exciting. Are you excited? Yes, very oh, much so. Oh, Thank lovely. you so much. And how, how long does the whole process take? So we're looking at plus minus. When it comes to colours, right, a lot of people like to give it a timing. I don't. I take my time with colours. I give it the respect it deserves because at the end of the day, everybody's job is custom. I don't have a one-size-fits-all method. I tend to always look at the clients and really give them something that's going to suit them, something individual. I want to bring out authenticity. So it could be anything between one and a half to two and a half hours. But it's the difference. That half an hour is like six weeks of either being extremely happy exactly. or disappointed with your hair. And, and so. also, I suppose it also um, depends on the skin tone. Because isn't that true? You know, you can't, uh, like I know for me, for a blonde, it's better to be more ashy tones than too warm because, um, you know, the cooler colors and it, it works the same way. Absolutely. So, you know, we definitely need to look at skin tones. We need to look at face shapes as well. You know, we've got to look at, ultimately, I like to give a full assessment of my clients. I like to look into their personalities too because it's got to match them flat out. It's got to be something that this was made for me. And at the end, I want them to feel like this is like kind of like my natural color. This is yes. who I should be. Yeah. That's the ultimate goal at the end of the day. And how do you deal with a client if she comes in and she says, oh, and she shows you a photo and she says, I want to look like this. <laughs> and you're like, oh my gosh, no, her face shape, her, she, this is not going to work. In the world we live in, that happens way too often. Um, I often have to break my client's hearts and tell them, look, either the photo has been extremely photoshopped, the color has been tampered with, or just the face and the shape and the cut, just, it's not going to suit the client. So I'm not rough about it. I definitely wouldn't consider myself a blunt knife. Um, I go into it very softly. I do explain to them why it is that they shouldn't go for that decision. And I do also help assist giving them alternative solutions that will look nice and then will enhance them. Ultimately, at the end of the day, if that's what they want, that's what I'm going to give them. Unfortunately, I can't force her to do something else. Otherwise, it's just going to be an unpleasant experience. But nine out of 10 times, well, my clients have gone through with my I'm advice. Sure. I'm yeah. absolutely am sure because the thing is, you know, if I know for myself and I'm sure you do and most women do and guys, of course, yeah. you know, if your <laughs> hair feels and looks beautiful, you feel good. You feel more confident. Yeah. You definitely feel more confident. Wonderful. Yes. So today we're going to start with the treatments. Uh, yes. all, so you'll treat and then you'll color and absolutely. then you'll treat and then you'll blow away. I'm going to be treating twice. I'm going to be treating before Wonderful. and after. So I want the hair to really feel amazing. You know, I'm loving the fact that the color is going to be phenomenal, but I want Lianca to, on the longevity terms, really feel like, wow, okay, this is nice because my hair feels really great and it looks great. Wonderful. And home care, home care use and products is important, isn't it? I'm going to be giving it? some advice and I'm going yes. to be recommending some products to you in oh. terms of aftercare of oh. the salon because, like we said, it's beautiful to walk out of a salon and you're like, boom, that's exactly. magnificent. And I try to do it again at home. So ultimately, my, one of my goals is, is for, so the client can live with the style, live with the cuts, and also live with the color. The maintenance can't be too difficult. But that's fantastic because of, it's true, like you say, you know, you walk out feeling glamorous and gorgeous, but then you can't get the style or you can't do it yourself. So that's wonderful that you'll actually address uh, with Lianca and, and show her how you're blow drying or what you're doing. Absolutely. Which will help her. Absolutely. But thank you so much. And I think let's thank get you, stuck in with our treatments. And wonderful. oh, are you excited, girl? Very much. Very oh, much lovely. So. Oh, very, wonderful. Very cool. But thank you so much, Marco, thank you, once again for being part of our journey, Lianca's journey. And we can't wait to see the end results. Awesome. Look forward to it. <laughs> Well, as you can see, Lianke is in very, very good hands and we cannot wait to see how gorgeous she is going to look when Marco has used his magic touch on her hair. Always remember to invest in your hair. It is the crown that you never take off. See you next week.